What's up fellow Zam Jammers, I'm here outside Kingfisher and I will be talking on the radio today. So, let me tell you what this interview is going to be about. Sorry, I'm just talking quietly because I'm not sure if we're allowed to talk. Basically, we're going to have a burn on campus. A 24 burn, but it's actually not going to be 24 hours. If you're not sure what a burn 24 is, then go and Google it. Basically, it's 24 hours of worship. We're going to be having the first one on campus ever, and that's quite exciting. That's why I'm here today. I'm going to be telling them a bit about that, and I'll keep you posted. Oh, Feb. 16th Feb. Well, I'm doing Valentine's Day, so it's fun. Why go to the movies? It's a the movie at Ender the Cricket in Valentine's and then it's burning. Yeah. yeah. And it's at any movie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, uh, joining us in studio, we've got, here we go, Sheldon Zamazeris. No, that's it. Z Zamazeris. Zamazeris. Yes. Yes. Or Sheldon Zams, I like to call it. Yes. Okay. What nationality are you? That's Greek. That's a Greek surname. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was like the Sutu or something. Mm. Come on. Yeah. African. Who's Sutu? Hey. I am African at heart. There we go. Sheldon, it's awesome to have you with us. Student from... Uh, the team called Captured, which is a citywide outreach. Uh, so this, I suppose a spill of what's been happening in our, our city over the last few years. So mm, tell us how yeah. you got involved. Well, basically there's a society on campus called 2020 Destiny. And what they do is they are sort of an umbrella society which allow for churches off of campus or societies to be recognized officially by the university. They can book venues, they can really just appeal in all the capacities of a legitimate society and yeah taking over as chairperson this year um, I was the point of contact that's that's kind of how I was introduced to team captured that's where it started sure sounds quite formal eh? <laughs> I was appointed as the official person by the university <laughs> wow it's like <laughs> well is there like meetings and Gongs and all sorts, eh? We we do have to follow a bit of legislation. I, I, I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So this is the uh, university sort of group that's now being approached by our team captured, mm. looking at a citywide outreach. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. And this is the first event of the year of many events that the mm. team are putting together outreach events around the city. Exactly. Just give us an idea about the rest of the team. Are they all young people or? No, most of them, in fact, are, are pastors from churches. So We've got old Pete. People, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you call Pete Gooch old. Um, Pete Gooch. Woo! Over the hill. Yeah, he's helping us out with the burn and all the intricacies of that. And uh, Summer Strand United, that's Murray, and just a few other pastors who, who have awesome. their hearts set on unity. That's amazing. Um, yeah. So it's a citywide outreach, and the focus first up is going to be on the on the varsity students. Mm, yeah. Okay, so you got to burn on campus. That was that interview. It, I think it went well. I, I shared about it. It lasted about twenty minutes, and there was a moment when when I was really freaking out. That was before the interview, though. I asked where the bathroom was. I went to the bathroom. And when I closed the door behind me, the handle fell off, and that made a loud noise. A heavy little iron handle falling onto a tile floor. That's not what freaked me out, though. When I wanted to leave, the the handle had detached, and it just wasn't opening the door. I felt like I was just going to make a really awkward impression, having to ask someone to let me out of the bathroom. But fortunately, I turned and I turned, I opened the handle up, and I saw how it worked, and... I got out of there without having to ask anyone about it. So that was my interview, and yeah, it was it was really chilled. If you did tune in, if you saw my my status on WhatsApp or Instagram in time, um, then thank you so much. I won't judge you for not simply because I only got data again this morning on the first of February, so I could only update my status today. So I didn't reach as many people as I would have liked to, but. I did it. I spoke on the radio. Everyone who was listening was listening. And it was a first for me. That was a first for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to become a Zam Jammer, then hit that subscribe button. And I would also appreciate a like. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers, guys.